Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Metropolis Radio. Today we are talking about yet another movie delay. Now, I know that this isn't new news, but, you know, Top Gun Maverick was pushed back yet again to May 2022. And allegedly here, uh, IMAX asked Paramount not to delay Top Gun Maverick again. Before Top Gun Maverick was pushed back yet again to May 2022, the CEO of IMAX says he urged Paramount not to delay the long-awaited sequel. Um, who exactly was waiting for a sequel to Top Gun? I, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, so let's uh, let's get into the article. Um, IMAX, uh, IMAX asked Paramount not to delay Top Gun Maverick again. The sequel to the 1986 classic will see Tom Cruise reprise one of his most famous roles as the naval aviator Pete Maverick Mitchell. After initially being postponed to give production more time to Corey Gaff for the film's complex dogfight sequences, Top Gun Maverick has dealt with an endless series of delays due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we're going to get into that by the end. Uh, the long-awaited sequel also sees Val Kilmer reprise his role as Iceman. I don't know how they're going to do that, given the man can barely speak now because of, because of all his bouts with throat cancer. Uh, and stars Jennifer Connelly, Miles Teller, John Hamm, and Ed Harris as new characters. Hey, uh, maybe someone should keep an eye on Ed Harris. Make sure he's not a uh, make sure he's not a uh, pointing weapons at a uh, at a certain major city uh, during this movie. If you uh, if you uh, catch my drift. Um, though Top Gun was released in 1986 to a mixed res- to a mixed response from critics, it quickly became a box office sensation and the highest grossing film of the year. The film was notable for its intense aerial sequences shot by the late action director Tony Scott. Now, I'll go out and say this. Um, Top Gun has a great opening sequence. You see the flight crew doing their thing. Planes are taking off and landing on, and landing on the huge aircraft carrier in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Get your, get your fucking adrenaline pumping. And then the rest of the movie fucking sucks. Because there's no reason for any of the dogfights to be happy. Especially that ending. There's, there's no reason for that ending to even to even exist in my opinion uh performances from Cruz and kelly mcgillis were also highly praised uh there had been whispers of a sequel for years but talks be but talks began to materialize in 2017 after originally being set for a july 2019 release the film has been delayed countless times the most recent of which pushed top gun maverick to may 2022 um, now at a recent media conference, IMAX CEO, R- Richard Gelfond, I hope that's how you pronounce his name. Actually, I think it's Rich Gelfond. I'm, a, I'm, I'm sorry. I accidentally said Richard, uh, but I'm hoping that's how you actually pronounce that last name. Uh, G E L F O N D. I hope this pronounced as Gelfond. If I, if I'm wrong, let me know. Uh, says he urged Paramount not to delay Top Gun Maverick from his prior November 2020 release date. Quote, I tried to urge them to keep the date because I think that whatever conditions there are, people would flock to see it, but I think they just want perfect conditions around it. Gelfond said per deadline. And this is the problem, but let's dive a little more into this and then we'll get into it. Uh, After being postponed to December 2020 to allow more time to work on the flight sequences, Top Gun Maverick was pushed back to November 2021 and most recently to May 2022. Tom Cruise's other temple at Paramount Pictures, Mission Impossible 7, was delayed to September 2022. While it's understandable that theaters are growing impatient as multiple temples are being pushed back, well, no shit. Uh, Paramount has a lot of confidence in Top Gun Maverick and is waiting for conditions to be perfect before releasing it. Right now, the Top Gun sequel is scheduled to debut nearly three years after its initial release date. Again, it was supposed to come out in July of 2019. It's now yeah, May of 2022. Let's just call it for what it is. It was a three-year delay. Uh, this, of course, if it's not changed again, oh, it more than likely will, let's be honest. With the recent success of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, Sony decided to bump Venom Let There Be Carnage up two weeks. If Paramount likes what it sees at the box office this fall, they could end up doing the same with Top Gun Maverick. But for a film that relies on the theatrical experience so much, it's probably best they hold out for the best release window possible. Um, Most people that I know in my personal life, unless if they are uh, over the age of 40, have, have only seen Top Gun on VHS or DVD. I'm one of those people. I'm only in my mid twenties. But see, this this is this is Paramount's problem right here. Where was it? Da 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 da. Um, um. Here we go. Uh, Paramount has a lot of confidence in Top Gun Maverick and is waiting for conditions to be perfect before releasing it. This is this is the biggest problem 
with with Paramount's strategy is that oh we we gotta push it out so that it releases in the right place at the right time that way the majority of people can go see it. But the, the again, this is the problem. They've now delayed it. You know, the movie was originally supposed to come out July 2019. Then it got pushed back to 2020 for for re, for for reshoots. Okay, fine. Okay, I could I could I could believe the reshoots. Then it was pushed back again and again and again and again and again. And there's no te- and and it might get pushed back yet again. At some point, the, the same thing happened with Bond 25 with No Time to Die. You know, audiences are going to grow to the point where it's like, oh, didn't that didn't that movie al- didn't that movie already come out? Ah, oh, fuck it. Who who cares? So they could wait so long that by the time it comes out, all the hype around the movie is eff- is is effectively dead. You know, you want to wait for the absolute perfect moment. Well, the absolute perfect moment may have come and gone. And guys, that's all I've got for you right now. So if you stuck around this long, thanks so much for doing so. And if you guys have been following me long enough, you know I'm terrible at ending these videos. So I will just see you guys uh, next time.